Greetings, YouTube community, sports fans nationwide. You have entered the Sports Opinion Log here on Lex Anderson World. I'm your host, Lex Anderson, and in tonight's video, you know I couldn't let my head rest upon the pillow without talking about what I, the prophet, had decreed. Warriors in six, final score in game six, 118-113. As Steph Curry has the game of a lifetime, 23 points in the fourth quarter, 10 in the third, 33 points in the second half, calling Clay Thompson, no need to. He answered the phone with 27 points as the undermanned Golden State Warriors, missing Kevin Durant, minus 35 points, eliminate the Houston Rockets, serving them their first home court loss in the playoffs, and of course, apropos, they have been thoroughly eliminated. So while all of America was thinking that there would be three game sevens on Sunday, cancel that. Make that dinner for two or four, two game sevens on Sunday. But not that it would have mattered anyway, because here in the Sports Opinion Log, I deal with the reality. And the reality is what I've said all along. You could check out all my previous past videos, which is why, being the sports and fashion icon, I went with the CP3, New Orleans Hornets, authentic jersey. Because like I've said before, CP3, a.k.a. CP0, had nothing to quote Hove, Jay-Z, no matter where you go, you are who you are, player. The same James Harden that averaged six points when OKC was in the NBA Finals against the Miami Heat is the same James Harden you saw tonight. And the same James Harden you saw in Game 5 when Durant went down towards the end of the third quarter and he did nothing. I don't have to talk about stats. I don't have to talk about the tired cliche line. Oh, the heart of a champion. What more did the Houston Rockets want? Undermanned. Steph Curry fighting an uh, injury, not only to his hand with a dislocated finger, but also the mental and emotional of his wife, on Facebook with the Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett talking about her life and her desires to be chased by other men. But she's married and doesn't understand why no one wants her. Wow. But Steph Curry's on Instagram voicing his support for his wife who betrayed him for the country to see. Fighting physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. And the Houston Rockets still can't take advantage. I don't give a damn what you want to talk about next year. There ain't no coming back from this. I won't even label the Rockets as being chokers. Because I've said it before here in the Sports Opinion Log, where I deal with the reality. The reality is that CP0 is still a goddamn zero. Still hasn't been to the NBA Finals. Harden is not big time. But thankfully, the owner of the Rockets was stupid enough to give Harden over $200 million and an old-ass, broken-down CP0 $161 million for the next four years. Clint Capella gets $80 million for the next three to four years. And look at what you got. You got your dumbasses eliminated at home. So all hail the Golden State Warriors. All hail soon-to-be free agent Clay Thompson for coming for the rescue. All hail Steph Curry fighting through everything. Zero points in the first half, and those numbskulls still can't secure a W. Yes, we could talk about how the Rockets are 1-11 in Oracle Arena. So even if it had went to Game 7, they still would have went down. But thankfully, they did it sooner than later. And America is all the better for it. So game seven, I the Prophet had decreed Denver Nuggets over Portland Trailblazers in six, but I get a bonus game. That's all I've got, because I'm not going to really make a prediction on that. Oh, but I also got Raptors versus Sixers. I had said Sixers in six. It looks like I'll have to take it in seven. Will Drake be in airplane mode? I don't know. But I know that the process 
has to come to fulfillment on Sunday. So yes, heart of a champion, like I've said to people in the streets, shout out, St shout out Stephen Dre for dropping the comments. Much appreciated. <laughs> this is it, man. The Rockets are done for because everybody out there out West is getting better. PG-13, Westbrook, they've gone, they've gone under the knife. Not that that means anything because they three straight first round exits. It doesn't matter. Nuggets are on the rise. Blazers are on the rise. Warriors are still defending champions. And under man, they still overcame the odds to beat a team that was built. And what makes this loss and elimination even more damning was that the Rockets had the nerve to come through with their analytical bullshit about last year. Remember where they went 0 for 27 on threes? Talking about how the NBA robbed them of a championship? Those bitch-ass clowns wouldn't have won a championship if they went to the finals anyway. Ha! A bunch of cads, a bunch of scallywags, a bunch of scammers, a bunch of fakes, a bunch of posers, and most and more importantly, a bunch of fucking losers. So take care, CP0. I barely knew ye. But actually, I do know you, Chris Paul. I know you very well, CP0. I know that you still haven't been to an NBA Finals, and at this point in your career, at this point in your, in your life, you're never going to get there. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is your boy Lex Anderson doing what I do best. Holler at me on the other side of America. I'm signing out.